Now that I'm decked out, fighting this next Colossus should be a simple breeze. Or at least that's what I like to think if I was optimistic. I'm not, but hey, I lament to myself all the time. Point is, we got a Colossus to fight. I gotta wake up my love interest slash family member. I don't really know, to be honest. It's something that I've always debated. Also, don't be a dumbass. Don't run into this pillar. We're trying to get to the little stone altar place. I don't really know. Point is, it summons the Colossus. Well, hey, look at this thing. I don't know what it is, to be honest. I mean, it, personally, it looks a little insectoid to me. I don't know if it's because it has multiple wings or, like, it's, it's little head thing kind of reminds me of a rhinoceros beetle or some beetle. I don't really know. But point is, um, it's majestic. It looks like some sort of insectoid falcor, if I had to really talk about it. I don't know. Let's call it a Rorschach test. Say what you want to say. I mean, it could be anything that flies. I mean, it could be a bird. I mean, I'm not going to judge. Anyways, I guess we should talk about the battle because, you know, that's what we're doing, right? We're at the first stage of this fight. Because, uh, you know, it has a couple stages. You know, there's a couple parts to this whole entire thing. Things you got to do in order to succeed. So the first thing. It's got a little air sex. It's pretty obvious to see them. You know, you see them, you shoot them. That's how it works. Pretty simple. Even a fool could do it. And I know because, you know, I'm, I'm not the smartest tool. Uh, Alright, well, yeah, I fucked up that whole entire metaphor. Uh, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Gilm, Gilm recovered. No, he didn't. Gilm's still a dumbass. Anyways, not the point. The point is, I did it. Okay, I can do it. Video game, I can. Speaking, not so much. But anyways, second phase. You're gonna fail a lot. Because I don't know if it's intentional or if it's just an oversight on the game design but you gotta ride on your horse you know unlike with shooting these air sacks and sure aiming was a little bit of a bitch if you're not positioned just right with this it's super crucial there's no room for error point is you gotta ride on your horse and you gotta aim at the wings the side of the wings there's little stepping ladders that you can do I'm not really sure if this whole thing has a time limit as far as I know, you got a wide, you got a wide window of opportunity to do this, so it's not like you're in a huge hurry. But at the same time, I think if you run the clock a little bit, you're gonna, you're gonna have to repeat it like the first phase again. Anyways, not the point. Point is, this is really a pain, and you know, unfortunately, with my editing skills, I cut it a little bit. But hey, one thing to note: when you finally do manage to make it on top of the wing, and you do manage to climb it, be forewarned. You'll get to the joint and stuff can happen, like falling off or I don't really know. You can overshoot it, something along those lines. It's, it's annoying. You gotta do it all over again. So enough failure, let's actually try to do this right. You know, we're gonna run and we're gonna jump. It's a little bit daring. I don't know, I'd, I'd be scared personally because, you know, the collision isn't that great. But my point is, I can do it. You know, I can climb and I can climb up the wing. And sure, it looks daunting and I already said you can flub this up really bad if you're not careful. But hey, I, I'm a careful dude. You know, I like to take it cautious some days. You know, other days are pretty daring. Oh man. This is not a good sign, because stuff happens. I guess I ran up the clock, but hey, no worries, man. I made it. I made it. We're good. We're good. All right, see, it seems like it's it's daring and it's problematic, but it's really not, because, you see, once you get up here, it's actually pretty easy to stab him into the weak points. I mean, it doesn't seem like it is, but hey, 
it, it, it really is, you know, flying, normally it'd be like number five where you're just gonna get into a huge headache sort of situation, but, you know, you run up, you run up, you stab the weak point, and you, you succeed, it's good, it's good, he does a little bit of aerial acrobatics, I can't think of a better term for any of this, but you know what, I digress, not the point, point is, if you're quick enough, and chances are you usually won't be because you're gonna fall off as soon as you try to do this and he does have a habit of kind of covering his weak points like so but if you're careful enough and I wasn't I flubbed up but if you're if you're clever and you're quick enough mainly the quick part you can actually get another hit on the new weak point that he covers up but again, it's usually haphazardous and you won't be able to do it and because, you know, you're not really sure what you're getting yourself into, it's all stupid and you feel like a dumbass. I feel like a dumbass. Every day when I play Shadow of the Claws. Anyways, not the point, okay, because you'll see, Gildum can succeed. I got my horse pal, I got my silly pony, he's here, I'm riding him. I gotta go find this other Colossus, and by other I mean the same Colossus, I just gotta wait for him to reappear, it's all good, nobody worry, nobody panic, I have a good feeling. I say this, but I really have a good feeling, you know, maybe with all the failure out, because you know, I had to edit this heavily, let's be honest, this post-commentary, Gilbert Martin knows the results, but hey, you know, disclaimers aside, you know, whether or not this is live or whether or not it's post, it's beyond me. Point is, once you do it, once you stab it enough in the weak points, you gotta repeat the first stage of the whole entire fight, but it's pretty easy. You know, it's really that second phase of trying to get to his weak point that's the real problematic part. No one likes that part, at least not me. I don't know, maybe there's someone out there who's like, Yay, the second part, trying to actually manage this game physic part. It's, it's great, it's fantastic. Everyone loves that, except they don't, or I don't know. Can I, can I count myself in the everyone category? Even though there's probably some minority that think to say that it, it's, it's the best part. I don't know, point it, who cares? Who cares, alright? We gotta, we gotta do the success thing, you know, that's what we got going on, that's what we got going. This is the Insectoid Falcor, because I can't think of a better term to call him, because I don't even know what the hell it is. But, I mean, again, it looks like the Insectoid Falcor. And again, you know, hey, I managed to do the thing that I have lamented over and over and over again. And, you know, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. It's a good thing to do. Also, you know, be careful on his little joints. It's, it's annoying, it's pain, no one likes it, or at least I don't think anyone. You know what, point, I gotta find the other weak point. This is not it, but fortunately, you know, it's, it's pretty easy climbing on top of him, and it's pretty easy trying to traverse his whole entire elongated body, trying to find the glyph, the little glowing glyph that's his weak point, and you know what, it's, I'm fine with that. It's everything I ever wanted. It's a pretty easy Colossus, aside from that one climbing up its wing. Everything about this is pretty pleasant. It's pretty easy. It's kind of a throwback to the first couple of Colossus where, you know, you're just kind of on autopilot and you're like, Hey, I'm having fun. It's not a puzzle, or at least not a very complicated one, and I'm fine with that. I'm really okay with it, alright? It's a good thing to mix it up, you know, kind of vary the difficulty a little bit. I mean, granted, there is a hard mode in this game, so I, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I mean, I guess I guess maybe this is baby mode? And if I was a real man, I'd be playing it on hard mode, but I mean, I don't know if I'm ready for that. I am a dumbass, after all. I, I don't think I could do what I'm supposed to do. I mean, you figure I could. Because, you know, at times I can be you game, but at other times, I don't know. I don't really get what I need to. I'm not quick enough. I'm not clever. I got another hit! I got another hit, everybody! Suck it, Colossus! Suck it! <laughs> oh, if only I could defeat him. That would make my day. It really would, viewers. You have no idea. I mean, Grant, it's gonna happen. Ow. I mean... Sure, I'm decked out in health, so, you know, falling damage, not really a thing I have to worry about too much, but at the same time, it, it's, it's annoying trying to climb up and do the things, process step one, 
go to step two, which I'm counting the wing climbing as step two because that's that I feel like that's an annoying part in and of itself. And then you know step three, it's find the cliff and hit it, strike it, kill him. It hurts him. I mean, I guess falling hurts me. You know what? It doesn't matter. Gilm's not trying to get get philosophical. Couldn't think of the word philosophical, but don't worry about that too much. You know, my stupidity aside. We got this, all right? We got this. It's Shadow of the Colossus, everybody. Shadow of the Colossus. You know, I decided to cut it just a bit, because, you know, I don't think you guys need to see the steps repeated to do this whole entire thing. I think you just want the results, you know? And I feel like, as the creator here, I feel like, you know, trying to make this as bearable as possible is the way to go about it, you know, and we don't need to see elongated repeat and steps, even though, you know, I kind of did that, but point is, we're, we're back on him, okay, we can do this, we're gonna defeat the Colossus, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be success, it's gonna be everything I ever hoped for, except waking my, my dead girlfriend, I, I think I'm just gonna refer to her as my girlfriend, because, you know, quite frankly, a love story of this whole tire caliber feels like that's what it is, you know. It feels like a love story. It feels like that's what we got going on. It feels like I can defeat the Colossus. His majesty is over. I gotta run away from the body, just like the other 12. Yeah, 12. Did I get that right? You know what? I, I'm not feeling guilty. I'm getting numb to the whole entire feeling. I'm tired of being guilty, man. It's like it, it drowns your thoughts. It's overbearing and it just kind of weighs heavy on your soul. Who needs that shit? Man, fuck it. I don't feel guilty about that guy, he's a pain in the ass, especially on the second stage. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Why wouldn't I save? Dude, man, let me tell you something. I gotta save after everything, especially because of technical difficulties. They're a pain in the butt. But hey, editing, not a pain in the butt. You know, I feel like this part became a lot more bearable because of that. I think all of y'all would agree. No one needs to see me repeat the steps over and over again, even if I didn't fail. A guardian set loose? It lusts for destruction? Well, beg my pardon, but I think you're on the autopilot, because I, I swear to God, we've heard these lines before, you know? All the cryptic, like, you're an expo, blah, blah, blah. Cryptic hint, insert thing here. Uh, yeah, whatever. You know what? Point is, I'm not a guy like Entity, so what am I? Who am I to say? If I remember correctly, I mean, it's pretty accurate regardless, so, you know, I, I guess it works. I guess it works. Maybe that's why I'm not a guy like Entity, because, you know, I would be all trying to be original or something, some sort of hipster deity. 
entity-like thing, and it'd be stupid beyond belief, because, you know, all of a sudden, I'd be like, it's not cool anymore, I'm not cool anymore, because everyone's worshipping me, or like some sort of cult or something, you know what? Irrelevant. Point is, I gotta go to it. You know, I would explore, but honestly, I don't think there's much to see in the way that we're going. Yeah, I don't really think there's much to really go off about it. You know, unless there's like a lizard tail or something, not really going to bother too much. Especially with the fruit, because our health is pretty much maxed out from what I've seen, what I've noticed. In other words, fruit doesn't really give us any sort of noticeable increase anymore. So I'm thinking, you know, we're, we're pretty good on the health department. The lizard tail stamina department, well, you know, from what I understand, that still increases, so maybe not so much there. So, lizards, the white tail lizards, probably still gonna go after those guys. Still probably gonna feel guilty about hunting the, the most awesomest reptile species thing out there. Uh, biology is devoid of me at this point, you know, don't really understand the animal kingdom right now, but hey, it's all irrelevant, guys, it's all irrelevant, you know, this is a video game, don't have to do the brain thinking so much as I do have to do the exploring, trying to figure out where I'm heading next. And also, I guess I should digress a little bit because, I mean, you know, it's exploration, guys, what am I gonna do? Talk about, oh man, look at this fantastic field, you know, back in the PS2 days. And, you know, look at my silly pony. He's, he's walking. He's got very awkward hair wiggling motion. I'm, uh, I mean, I probably haven't mentioned that so much, and it is kind of awkward. Also, I do have to look at the map a little bit to make sure that I'm heading in the right direction. Because, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, that happens. It happens, guys. I swear to God. I don't always know the exact way to go. I mean, I have an idea, and, you know, you look at the map and you set a course, but at the same time, it doesn't always work out as expected and you figure it would because you know i'm the less player here you know i'm the guy behind the controller the guy at the wheel in other words piloting the dictations of the character the main character and your figure guild him you can do it you're you're the guy you're the gamer man you you direct how this video goes you commentate on the situation and i do but it doesn't always work out how i want it to and i don't always prove the pro stats as i'd like to Especially because I'm a dumbass, but hey, you know, you gotta give and you gotta receive or something like that. I don't really know where I'm going with this whole entire statement. Point is, I'm just distracting and you guys are listening. And you're probably hoping that there will be something to kind of break up the monotony. And, you know, I probably could fast forward it, but I mean, where, where would you be if you didn't have the live gameplay, the footage? You know, you'd, you'd be lost, you'd be like, but that's not the whole experience of trying to go from point A to point B while you're trying to do the thing and get all the scenery, all the scenic scenery, just take it in and absorb it for your own satisfaction, or at least, I don't know, satisfaction's a good word, right? But anyways, point is, I think we're pretty close to where we're trying to get, at least I'd like to say that. But at the same time, if you already clicked off the video, I mean, chances are someone did, because they're like, this is fucking boring, why the hell are you doing this, man? Come on, dude, buddy, just just, just quit, just, just stop. And it's like, you know, you're in your right to say that. I, I bet someone's gonna comment on that, like, as soon as I mentioned that, just in the video, you know? And so, like, I'll, I'll, I'll be like, okay, in the comments or something like that. And hey, you know, you're more than welcome to leave a comment. I'll probably respond to it, I usually do that. Uh, but anyways, you know, I, I think at these little fence posts, I'm, I'm gonna end it off. Because there's really not a whole lot to say, you know, I'm running out of steam, man. I gotta take a break or something. Uh, get my, get my thoughts in check. Something along those lines. So next time, uh, Guardians set loose. Whatever the godlike deity said. Mm -hmm.